Rosalind is uh, from the School of Chemical Engineering and also School of Chemistry. And the title of uh, Rosalind's thesis um, is uh, Light Metal Hydrides for Hydrogen Storage, or her short title for her talk today, Storing Sunshine. Good afternoon. My name is Rosalind, but for the purpose of explaining the context of my research, I want you to think of me as a molecule of water, with my body an oxygen atom and my two hydrogen atom shoes. Now, if I get given a lot of energy, I'm going to split into my constituent parts. I'm going to form an oxygen ion and two hydrogen ions, which I'll then discard carelessly. However, if this reaction occurs with the energy provided by electricity, it's called electrolysis. Now, the most exciting thing about electrolysis is that it can also be done backwards. So you can take the two hydrogen atoms and the oxygen ion and combine them to form water and electricity. Now, when you put these two reactions together, you have a circle. You start with water and electricity, you form hydrogen and oxygen, and then you can go backwards and form water and electricity again. Now, you might think, why on earth is she talking about this? Why is she going round in circles? Well, actually, this can prove to be quite a helpful reaction. If you start with water and take your electricity from renewable energy sources, such as wind or solar, when it's windy or sunny, then you can form hydrogen, which you can then store. And then later, when it's dark or not very windy, you can use the hydrogen and the oxygen and combine it to produce electricity, which you can then use to power your homes or cars, whatever you like. The problem with this and the reason that we're not already doing this is the hydrogen. When us water molecules carelessly discard our hydrogen shoes, they like to be kept as far away from each other as possible, like the picture to your left. To get these hydrogen molecules closer together and therefore store them in a smaller space, you need to use a lot of energy to compress them, to squeeze them closer together. However, my research looks into compounds that are called metal hydrides, and they look like the system on the right. Now, these metals work quite a lot like a shoe rack. So the metal ions are spaced evenly, and the hydrogen atoms just slot neatly into the gaps. And this means that you can fit a lot more hydrogen into the same space. However, and yes, there is a however, these metal ions are heavy, and they add weight to the system. And that's not ideal if you want to carry the hydrogen with you in a car or another moving vehicle. So my research looks at light metals, trying to make these shoe racks lighter so that we can take them with us wherever we go. And this means that we can store sunshine and use it to power our future. Thank you for listening.